Hello, my name is Lauren Massey and I'm going to be doing a photography presentation. The subjects I will, that I will be covering are the types of cameras, components in the images, lighting and exposure, support and file storage. The types of cameras I, I have used are DSLR and a Samsung Galaxy A3. When I took a photo using a DSLR, I was able to shoot in manual, controlling the exposure in the images that I took, keeping the ISO low due to the amount of natural light flooding into the camera. However, when using a phone, you can't change the exposure but can use filters to give it a similar effect. I've taken two different images on cloudy days. The DSLR was exposed perfectly on the building due to the natural lighting, whereas the phone camera was still somewhat dark and could have lowered the ISO. They both work in similar ways where they take photos. However, the DSLR would be better to use in this case. Now we'll be looking at the components of an image. The components of the image have three different things in a triangle. The first one is ISO, the second one is aperture, and the third one is shutter speed. The aperture on the DSLR is used to, to control the amount of light coming into the camera, which may lengthen or shorten the shutter speed when you higher or lower the f-stop. The more light the camera has in has to let in, the longer the shutter speed. The shutter speed is how long it takes the DSLR to take a photo after pressing the capture button. The shutter speed is also the ability to stop or start motion, e.g. traffic or water. Mm. The ISO is the level of intensity and is used to lighten the image when the image is too dark. However, the, the higher the ISO, the grainier the photo. Therefore, to achieve the perfect photo, you have to have a good balance of aperture and ISO. Now I will be covering lighting and exposure part of the presentation. The exposure in a photo is key to having a perfect photo and you don't want it to be underexposed or overexposed. An underexposed photo is when the camera hasn't let in enough light to show the details of an image. It's dark and the details covered by a dim lighting. An overexposed photo is when a camera is letting too much light, making the photo whiter and the details of the images are washed out. To correct the image, we'd use our aperture. The aperture will control the amount of light that will come into the photo. The higher the aperture, the more light that will come in. The, ap the lower the aperture, the less amount of light there will be. The camera lets in light by the shutter opening wider and closing to make a smaller hole. The bigger the shutter like there will be. Therefore, using a tripod will be good in order to capture a good image. If the lighting is okay, but there are still but there are still some details you want to include. We'd hire the ISO, bringing it in a little more detail in the photo. ISO controls the light sensitivity of the camera, adding or removing details that the aperture doesn't give. I'll be looking at the support of the cameras. Um, the first one will be a tripod. Um, on the tripod, we have a heel. The heel on the tripod is used to hold the camera steady. It screws into the bottom of the camera and is slotted back into the top of the tripod. A lever on the tripod is also there to control the camera, moving it up, down, left and right, and it keeps it steady. Um, 